Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic inexorable maths video in this video we are looking at how many how many ways can 30 people shake hands with each other so let's just be really clear about what we mean here let's imagine i could the, the reason why we're doing this question is because when i was in year three my teacher gave this question as a little warm-up what he would do at the beginning of school we'd all come in with our bags and our lunch boxes and my teacher would put a question on normally mathematically related but year three if you're not familiar maybe you're from america maybe you don't know what year three is i was i think seven seven or eight years old okay seven or eight now the way that you answer this question a seven or eight year old would not be able to do it so it was a hard question i don't know whether my teacher knew that it was a hard question to answer or not or if he just came up with the question just make you know to get people to think or you know maybe he just never wanted anyone to work it out and everyone would be quiet for as long as possible trying to work it out and would never be successful i don't know but the question in particular is if you have a class of 30 people that's why we're doing the number 30 because it's a classroom roughly in in a year three lesson um, if you have a class of 30 people, how many handshakes occur when everyone shakes hands with everyone else one time? So, you know, you take your first person, they have 29 handshakes, don't they? The second person, hmm, is it 29 handshakes though? Because they've already shaken hands with the first person. They don't need to shake hands with that person again. You get the idea. So it's how many ways can 30 people shake hands? What this really means is how many, if you have 30 different objects, so in this case it's people, but if you have 30 different things, how many ways can you arrange two of them? That's basically what the question is. So the way that we do this is there's actually a nice function that does this um, for us. Um, but what this is, is it's how many ways, if we have 30 things, can two of them be arranged? Well, if you are familiar with this n choose r idea, n choose r, number of things choose number of combinations, if you will, then this is quite nice and easy. So the formula for n choose r, and I will explain what this is in a second, is n factorial divided by r factorial multiplied by n minus r factorial we've seen the factorials before of course it's just multiplying each uh, integer number down until you get to one from where you start so for example four factorial means four multiplied by three multiplied by two multiplied by one which is 24 okay so it's take the number if it's a factor of a number take the number multiply it by each descending integer whole number until you get to one Okay, so 5 factorial would be 120, 3 factorial would be 6, 2 factorial is just 2, 1 factorial is just 1, etc. Okay, that's how it works. And of course, these numbers get really, really, really big very quickly because each every time you add an extra number, it gets that much bigger, uh, that many times bigger on, right? So like 52 factorial is a ridiculously large number, for example. Okay, so this is the formula. Now, the way that we use this is we have 30 objects. These are 30 students in a class and we're going to do 30 choose and how many combinations, how many different arrangements do we need? Well, we, we want to find that out, but we're looking for pairs of two because you only need two people for a handshake. So it's 30 choose two. This is going to be our answer. What this means is we calculate 30 factorial divided by two factorial multiplied by 30 minus two factorial like this this is our answer and we can simplify this a little bit it's 30 factorial divided by well 2 factorial is just 2 and and 30 minus 2 is 28 so 2 times 28 factorial brilliant and you might say oh this is going to be a bit difficult isn't it like hmm, that's hard right because you've got to work out what 30 factorial is which is going to take you a while you've got to work out what 28 factorial actually you don't because what you can do is you can rewrite this as 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26 etc but what is 28 times 27 times 26 times 25 etc well that is just 28 factorial isn't it 
that is 30 factorial is 30 times 29 times 28 factorial, right? Because 28 factorial will give you all of the other numbers going down until you get to 1. And that's still being divided by 2 times 28 factorial. The reason why we did this is because now the 28 factorials will cancel out. So we just get it's 30 times 29 divided by 2. And once we do this, it's very easy. 30 times 29 over 2 is just 15 times 29. Boom. And then we just work out what 15 times 29 is. And what we get left over with is 435. That's how you do it. If you have a calculator like this one, maybe you do, maybe you don't. It's the Casio FX911EX. There's other calculators that do this, but this is one that I know that definitely does it. There is a button actually on here that will do choose for you. So you can just type in 30 and then choose two and it gives you 435. But if you don't have that button on your calculator, you can do this method and you can use this formula here. So this is basically what this formula is, just to clarify one more time, is that n choose r is if you have n objects, how many ways can you arrange r of them at a time? So if you have 30 people, how many arrangements of two of them are there? That number is 435, we've just worked it out, but that will also correspond to how many handshakes they all have to do in order for everyone to have shaken hands with everyone else, which was the original problem. So again, I'm not quite sure how my year three teacher expected eight-year-olds and seven-year-olds to work this one out, but it's an interesting proposition nonetheless. So the way, the number of ways that 30 people can all shake hands in a classroom and make sure that everyone has shaken hands with everyone else one time exactly, the number of times that, that can happen, the number of ways is 435. That is our answer. You would need to do 435 handshakes, not you specifically, but there would be a total of 435 handshakes uh, in that classroom before everyone has shaken hands with everyone else once. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends and family all about it, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.